Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at a number of different ways in which you can use the Add Blend Mode or Linear Dodge as it is also known. So first of all let's just take the picture here, hit Control J twice, we're going to look at the very basic principle of adding which is that you're separating out things into channels so that you've got all reds, all greens and all blues but one in each different layer so you add up together and the result is what you see. So with this we can do these old channels so I, for the top one here, let's give them names. Let's call it R, G, and B for red, green, and blue. So go to the red, go to the channels, go to the R red down here, and we want to get rid of the green and the blue in that channel. So you go right click on that, hit clear, right click the blue, hit clear, and what we've got left is the red channel. And I've got all the reds in the picture. So next one here on green, we need to get rid of green, uh, red and blue. So clear, right click, clear, and then blue, right click, red, clear, right click, click, green and clear. So you can see here in the these here, you've got red, green and blue here. And all you need to do is to add them up. So it's the, the, there we go to from there to the add blend mode and they so say there you've got the the red and the green added together and with the green we can put in and add on that and there we've got the original picture but now separate out into layers so now we can do things with these separately um, in a number of things like curves you can use act on the red green and blue separately but in other areas you cannot so in particular filters so these filters here, you can do things with one channel at a time, or not at all, which can be very interesting. So just a simple example, let's just turn up the radius on the, the red, and you see you've got a kind of glow effect here. Click on the preserve alpha, gets rid of that edge effect. But you've very simply on here, gone from that to that. So let's go back to the beginning on this. Let's use the history, just wind that back. And uh, what else can we do? Uh, yes, let's do a tinting black and white pictures. And uh, first of all, we'll make a black and white. So we'll go to adjustments here and black and white. Comes out fairly white here, but if we turn down the red, because there's a lot of red in this picture because it's a wall, we can get something that shows a bit more and it can, we can do that to suit. Now then, if we put a layer above called layer new fill layer, and that's white uh, at the moment, but if I go to the add, it stays white, and that's because white on, on the add blend mode wins the, the battle. But if we change it to an actual colour, then you can see here, then we've got effectively a strongly tinted ball. But we can just here go to the opacity and turn it down, typically 10 to 20%, that sort of region. And there we've got so just a nicely gently coloured one from the original one. So you've got the colour here. And here we've got the HSL wheel. If you click on the hamburger up there, that's where you set it up. And we just spin this around. You can see you can get a nice gentle colour tint from that. So yeah, maybe something like that. It looks black and white, but it's not. Yeah, that was black and white. And that's how it is. Okay, so that's the second one. Let's look at a third one now. We'll do actually more black and white, but this time we'll put in the black and white again. But this time we're going to actually play here and change the blend mode here to add. So I change this to add. Everything goes pretty much white, and I can use this as a for a bleach effect picture. So I can now say turn down the red again, similar sort of thing, letting it through. But here it's just kind of bleached. And this just lets the original colour through. So you turn down the yellow, then you're letting more yellow through. But if you want the bleach effect, it's not too far. You know, like look at the plant on the wall there. If I turn down the green, gradually the green comes back. But I can leave it halfway for that bleach effect and so on. So there we go. There's a way of doing that one. Um, let another one. Let's do something a little bit more ambitious. I can start here. I can hit Control J twice. So I've got three copies of it. Control I inverts the top copy. Now then, if I'm going to add the top copy to the second one here, 
effectively, because you've inverted it, so if say it was the one layer is 0.1 of value, then inverted that is 1 minus that, which would be 0.9. And you add them together, then it's 1, which is effectively white. So I put in the add blend mode, and I'm going to get white. Now I can do all sorts of interesting things here, but I'm going to do something which is to put in a blur. So let's go here to a blur. And I turn this up here and you can see this appearing. But now I can do something quite fun with that, which is if I click on the layer there, shift click the layer below, and hit control G, which groups those together. Then that group, I can now blend again into the layer below here. And if this time I'm going to go to the opposite of the linear dodge or add, which is the linear burn. And look at the effect I get here. It's like it's been sharpened, but it's only using it going darker. Look at this effect here. It's going from this before to this afterwards. So it's, there's an intensification and a kind of sharpening which goes on as well. As you can see here, it looks really quite interesting. You can play with the blur to adjust that effect. Something else that we can do. So just the last one is just a variant on this, but it's completely different effect. If I click on this one here, which I had a, I'll keep that, but I'll go to the, the other one here. I change that linear burn to an add, which I've got here. But what I'm going to put in here before that is a, an invert. And look what I've got here. Go to the Gaussian blur and hit a preserve alpha to take out the edge effects. But here I got myself a really interesting sort of very hazy, quite a strong blur effect which I can always, of course, turn down by using opacity. But anyway, the, there you go. Five quite different things that you can do using the Add Blend Mode. So it's quite a useful thing. And there's more things, of course, you can do as well. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.